when he stands up, he stops walking. Oops. Come down. Got a little stub of a tail. See something happened to his tail. Hello there. Welcome to Michael Sharp YouTube channel. I appreciate you joining me. I do a lot of gardening videos on this channel and that's what I'm going to do today. My wife was sweet enough and kind enough to buy me some eggplants here from Walmart. She paid four dollars per plant they were good plants, they're nice plants, but I thought that was a little high. I was thinking more like three dollars would be a more common price. Pretty nice plants though. I watered them real good. They got rain on rained on yesterday. That helped and I think they look like nice plants. But you can leave a comment below. Well, what do you think of that price? Is that a good price? Am I being too much of a penny pinch pincher or what? This garden ready for these nice eggplant that my wife got me. So, have I mentioned yet that my wife got me these eggplants from Walmart? Okay. Just in case I didn't mention that, I want to do that. Let's go here. Some of this stuff, I'm just going to throw it in. Right here, you can see I'm creating a compost area where my garden will be going. Let's see what kind of plants we have here. That's just a collard or such. That's perfect for over there. See, and I thought these were all collard. It is looking like these are collard, not, not turnip. These are collard. I think there's like one turn up here. So for some reason I thought they were all but I knew I planted collard, so I was always confused about what happened. No, it's collard. I just have one turnip that got in there somehow. Let's see if these got in. These are useless. The worms have really gotten the best of them. I'm going to get all this out of here and then I'm going to add some uh, compost, some kitchen scrap compost I have. I have a pile over there by the wheelbarrow. It started raining yesterday. I was going to do this yesterday, but the rain, I wanted to dump that out because there were worms in the compost. I don't know if I can pick that up from here. There were worms in there. I didn't want them to drown in the rain. So I'm hoping they're still going to be in there. Here's the one turnip. The one tiny turnip. Jeez. That's not even worth saving for me. I'm not a big turnip guy anyways. I just did this for the garden. Wanted to plant something and... Uh, sometimes I plant turnips. Okay, let's see.
very soft. I just stepped into this and it's very soft. Now deer visit this garden from time to time. I hope they don't have a taste for the eggplant because if they do, I might be just wasting my time planting something here for the deer to just come and eat. Maybe if I get it more towards the middle here, they'll have a tougher time reaching it. I don't know. It's not like they can't jump up here so easy. Here it is. Here's the stuff I'm moving over there. Even has a lobby in it. chunky stuff but it's okay with me if it's okay with you. I'm okay with it being chunky. If it's too big of stuff I'll just pull it out. You know there are some avocado shells here and there. Some of this stuff is too much branch. I might just keep it over here though because you got something that is too just dump it in yesterday but rain came and I have to protect the worms if I can hopefully I'll see some here so far no sign this was growing in the compost so that's what gives me a good idea that things could grow good in here squash was just growing there all on its own I um, incorporate a lot of cardboard and I don't always into my compost and I don't always strip the tape off or get all of it. I try to, I try to get as much as I can.
into the soil and then I'm going to start planting the eggplant. here we can get those plants this is some old wood fall apart a good compost it's like old countertop uh, pressed board my stuff is great when it comes to composting okay pretty simple look how soft this stuff is Soft and spongy, let's see here. Maybe I'll do something with this middle part. Very dry. No worms. so much compost as you can see I don't have intentions of fertilizing these I'm just gonna see what they do in this kitchen scraps compost things from the kitchen scraps black beauty eggplant my favorite kind of eggplant my wife makes me amazing dish zucchini eggplant pie and I do have some zucchini growing here and now I have some eggplant I can add to that so we can make she can maybe make that awesome dish for me. One down, two to go. That went down pretty easy, huh? I noticed this soil. You can see how root bound it is, and they need to be planted. Very healthy plants. Your wig. Okay. Get this in there. Right there. for these I can maybe even put some marigolds in between them 
heard some good things about marigolds being close to your plants having benefits so pretty nice that went down very smooth no issues to speak of and that is my Walmart eggplant planting video gardening video on Michael Sharp YouTube channel appreciate you stopping by the guy I like to watch Pete Canaris he always finishes his videos with pound some dirt I love that saying it's just so perfect we will pound some dirt you'll always say what's growing on I love that kind of joke I'm corny it's corny I love it I don't use those because those are for Pete Canaris I have my own thing and I just go old school keep it simple thanks for coming by appreciate you stopping by showing my channel some love and I hope it does inspire you to do whatever it is you like to do whether it's growing or singing or cooking or whatever you might like go do that have some fun enjoy this life while we can let me see before we go one last thing here are my zucchini plants I do have some zucchini on that one, but some of these do. This is a small one. There's some better ones here though, I think. These I have growing right by my grass clipping compost kind of buried by all these leaves but put them right there strategically see if that would be good so far looks pretty good summer squash and I do have black beauty they're both excellent though yep here we go this is the good one Shot without any shade. Yep. This one and this one are my black beauty. The rest of these are summer squash. That white is an indication that they're getting too hot. And we're already getting to the hotter time that they don't like. But it was kind of too cold earlier, so we can have a fickle season this year.